Hello and welcome to a new YouTube. It's me, Felix. This is Morgan being a cute little green bean in the background. Yeah. Uh, this video is going to be kind of the opposite of what Morgan's was, which was <laughs> her things that she was doing when she was doing a lot of cleaning stuff. This is going to be me talking about content creation and things that I'm doing. So it's going to be a lot of me sitting and talking at the camera being like, here's what I'm working on now. It's like noon. This morning I woke up and had a migraine. And so we went and got coffee from the human bean. Shout out human bean. We're in our human bean era for some caffeine and then picked up my medication at the pharmacy and then I took a bath and I haven't really done anything. And now we're here and it's noon. I did have some lunch. So now I'm gonna send a couple of emails because we got one from somebody who has a uh, game. It's like a game company that they're like, did you want a stream key? Which a stream key, if you don't know, it's like a code that you can put in so that you can play the game for free so you don't have to pay for it. They're like, we'd love for you to stream it. Um, and that is, an offer that's an email that's them being like, we'll give you something for free. And what I'm going to do, because we get paid to do our job, is respond and be like, oh my God, we would love to have a stream key. Thank you so much. If you have any interest, these are our rates for streaming, blah, blah, blah. These are our rates for doing a TikTok video ad for it. I see you're crunching in the background. Sorry, I'm also crunching. She's crinkling. And so we have a rates sheet that I'm going to send them. You can find it in our bio, actually. It's just like beacons.ai slash couple of goofs. No, slash media kit slash couple of goofs. Anyway, it's got whatever our current rates are. They are not true. If you are thinking that we get paid $5,000 every time we post an ad, that is... I would love for that to be true. What it is is that people always are going to lowball whatever you say. So we just shoot a little bit high and then they come in at somewhere underneath that. And we just like know that that's going to be the case. Um, we also don't do, it's not like we have like an ad a month or anything. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Anyway, I'm going to send them that and be like, here's some thoughts I have. What they will most likely do is respond and be like, we don't want to pay you. Here's the stream key, which is fine. Whatever. I'm just going to shoot my shop because they shot theirs. And I feel like that's fair. And then there's another company. It's actually a book publisher that reached out to us for um, these two books that are like children children's books that are around um they're about genitals I guess is like the, they're like a kiddo book that's like here's what it means to have a penis here's what it means to have a vulva which is actually really great and I've been looking for a resource like that so they were just essentially like do you guys want these books we'll give them to you for free did you want to post about them and I'm gonna be like would love the books would love to have them for free if you want us to post about them here's our media kit and rates blah 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 blah, blah. you can check there's also on our media kit you can see like past ads that we've done I also depending on what it is sometimes send like an example of like oh here's an ad that we did or so and so that's like similar to this thing or like we could do in like a similar vibe yes yeah, so that's what i'm gonna do now i guess morgan and i are also gonna talk and plan youtube things yeah okay it's like 15 minutes later i morgan and i were chatting about plans for youtube things that we're gonna do oh my god wow you can really see my little like whiskers coming in here's the problem my skin is so bad and so i try to shave not as often because then it can heal from all of the acne that's happening. Anyway, I wrote this email. I also updated our uh, media kit. There was like an ad that we didn't have on there yet. That's actually specifically relevant to this. We did like a, a thing for blurb with like a lay flat photo book. And it's like the only like book ad that we've ever done. So anyway, this is my email back to this person. So you can know kind of what that looks like. I said, hi blank. Thanks so much for reaching out. I checked out the e-galleries and love the books. My wife and I have been looking for exactly this type of children's book and would love a copy of each. Best address to send to is our address. Uh, we'll most likely mention them in one of our registry halls on YouTube, but we would love to do a sponsored ad for y'all on TikTok or Instagram if you have an interest. You can check out our media kit and rates here, and then I have it as like a clickable like link thingy. And if you'd like to see past ad content we've done, you can find those below. And then I like labeled what each one was, which is on our media kit, but I am pushy. So it's like the, it says Mosey Baby Syringe TikTok, Hint Water TikTok, and then Blair Blay Flat Photo Book Instagram. And then I said, thanks so much and have a lovely day. Felix Man, blah, blah, blah. I have like a, a, a signature sign off thing. Um, I actually stole it from somebody else. I asked them if I could take it and they said it was fine. And it's like this little like thing below where it says, if you're receiving this email outside of your normal business hours, please feel free to respond at a later time. No email is more important than your rest. And I get comments on it every once in a while about like how nice it is and how they're going to add that to their email signature but um just especially i feel like emailing folks who are like marketing people i don't know if they have access to their work email when they're at home but i hope that they're ignoring me if they are receiving those it's 10 minutes later i wrote the email to the video game company this person i actually recognized their name and was like this person has a really fucking cool name it would be so weird if they had the same name as somebody else that we've talked to previously from a different company it seems like either that company was purchased by somebody else or this 
person has a new job now, but still has our contact info. And they paid us previously to do an ad for a video game that we both absolutely loved. So I'm loving and hope that even though they didn't like mention anything about payment here, that they're kind of like, oh, I know that these ones like will ask for payment. So anyway, that's kind of like the tone of this email. So like, hey blank, so lovely to hear from you. Hope you've been doing well. We'd absolutely love a stream key. The game sounds so cute and cozy. If y'all have any interest, we'd be stoked to do a sponsored stream, short form video, or any combination of those. We're also always happy to negotiate a rate that works well for all parties and are thrilled to do discount for cross posting slash bundling. You can check out our media kit and rates here and I've attached our Twitch analytics from the past 30 days below. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks and have a great day, Felix. The Twitch analytics, uh, anytime we've done like a sponsored stream, they want to see that. Sometimes it's for the past like 90 days. We're like not super... I mean, like, we're, we still, we stream three days a week, but it's much less than we were yeah, posting. Yeah, we six days a week. <laughs> right. <laughs> much less than we were doing previously. Just kind of for our own emotional well-being and sanity. Sending them that, then I'll probably take a nap because my head uh, still hurts so bad. Okay, I sat at the computer for a little bit longer and started setting up a Kofi for us because it's kind of like Patreon, but you don't have to do subscription. You don't have to do subscription. You can do, like, a one-time thing. People have been suggesting that for our, um, like, maternity paternity leave type situation if folks wanted to to donate to that. Don't feel like you need to. It was just something people suggested on stream. And we thought that that was a cool idea. It's actually specifically for our like um, Morgan's maternity leave stream-a-thon thing that's gonna be happening. It'll be fun. And then I was like, oh wow, my head really hurts. I need to lay down. And so I laid down and then I posted a TikTok that I had edited. So I had to like add in the captions for it and make a caption and choose like the cover photo and then post it and then monitor comments on that. And then I was like, oh, my head really hurts. And Morgan had therapy and she's in our bedroom doing that right now. So I was like, I'm gonna sit in the hot water in the shower. So I did that. And then now after getting out of the shower, I just have to take the other half of my Imatrix. Usually I can take a half of one and I'm good, but this headache is not leaving me. Probably doesn't have anything to do with how much I'm looking at my phone. And then I've been sitting here uh, and I posted the same TikTok to Reels. And then I same did like the cover photo and tagged Morgan and tagged the brands of clothes that Morgan's wearing, like in the comments, did the caption. I just updated our blocked words on our comment filters because people are very, they have a tendency to overshare on pregnancy content and they do not realize that what they're doing, they're not thinking about the fact that what they're doing could be potentially harmful to people reading it who are in a position that they were previously when trauma was happening to them. And that is not my favorite thing, but it is just part of our job. Okay, hello. As part of my things that I'm doing today, this is me setting up to do uh, the Goodnight Moon pennant. Um, this isn't actually content creation. Well, it is because... I'm making content out of it. Um, but this part of it is just gonna be me doing a time lapse of the craft that I was already planning on doing here upstairs. Good morning, it's a new day. So far, well, right now I'm sitting trying to be warm. Morgan is on stream. I uh, edited a TikTok that I don't think I'm gonna post today. I think I'm gonna post it in the next couple days. It's like the, for the ad we did, we like sat and talked for a long time doing like a check-in video about um, pregnancy. So uh, one of them is gonna be an ad on Instagram and then I essentially edited it because it's like a full nine minutes um, down to like a minute and 30 seconds to put it on TikTok that doesn't include the ad or anything. So folks still get like the check-in part of the content. And I made, well, I didn't make Morgan breakfast. I, I heated up leftovers of little like piggies in a blanket things for her and made tea. I usually make us Earl Grey teas in the morning. Um, it's just Earl Grey and sugar and cashew milk and ice. I also went through all our Instagram messages, read them, tried to heart react to most of them. I was posting about crafting stuff yesterday. Um, so it was a lot of people responding to these like felt thingies that I think I'm going to make, not the pennants, but like these like leaves, like felt plants that I might make for the baby's room because I have a disease. Air freshener dad and I are at the post office to check the P.O. box. I took Bo to school. Um, they usually take public transit, but they weren't feeling very good today and they didn't want to have to be on the bus for like an hour. So I took them. And now I'm at the P.O. box picking up packages that we're probably going to open in a um, like unboxing video. If there are packages that aren't, it's fine. We have a P.O. box that's not in the same zip code as us for safety reasons. So it is a little bit annoying to come check it, but obviously worth it. Also, Morgan needed me to get her a box so she could mail something out that was from uh, Facebook Marketplace. And then after this, I will head home and probably make lunch. I guess it's like 1030 right now. It's not. It's not. The time change got me just now. It's 1130. Also, I was singing Olivia Rodrigo on the way here. Um, I'm in a moment in my gender journey where uh, I my voice is finally low enough. I was a first soprano section leader in high school in choir. 
I have so much bob hair on me. Uh, I'm used to, if there's somebody who is like a mezzo or an alto, having to like sing the octave up from them to like sing along to a song. Otherwise, like my voice just like could not go low at all whatsoever. And now I don't have that. Now, if I'm singing along to Miss Why Do We Go, I am like automatically singing the octave down, which is really cool. Cause it's not something I was able to do before. That is nice. I don't think I'll ever like sing on the internet or sing, but y'all will probably, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. That might be something that you hear eventually, not for any like specific reason. Morgan actually has a degree in musical theater. She has a beautiful singing voice and she refuses to sing for real on the internet because she's like, I'm out of practice. And I'm like, you sound gorgeous, but it brings her a lot of joy. And also she's a Leo. I don't really want people like looking at me or hearing me. I quit theater uh, when I got out of high school because I had a panic attack disorder. And so I just kept on being on the verge of having a panic attack on stage. And now the idea of going back to doing like performance is so truly horrific to me, so bad. I would love to do like if our kid gets into like community theater or um, like, like in their school or like whatever, I would love to do set stuff. I've been like a lighting person, not like the designer, I'm, like do like set construction and like other things. Also like Morgan can sew. So I think that we will be, you know, an annoying power family when it comes to like performances, high school performances of our kids in theater. If not, I guess I'll learn how to make sport uniforms. I don't know, what do those people do? Bring snacks? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, and action. Okay, and Morgan just got done with streaming and I got home. We got a couple of packages. One of them was uh, these Fatties for Palestine, for Free Palestine shirts that are super cute that we're gonna post about and we're really excited about from one of our friends. I'll probably link those in the caption so that folks can buy them if they want them because they're so cutesy, so good. Um, and then we got two letters that are sent back ones from our Valentine. So shout out to Isla and Lexi. We will probably be messaging you in the near future or you've probably already gotten the message. Um, and then we have a subathon that we're planning that Morgan worked on a uh, stream today. I should be recording with Morgan's phone because I'm doing a time lapse of my thing. So right now we're going to go over all the things that we're doing for our subathon, which is going to be a week long and yeah. save money for like a maternity for leave. maternity. That's I made the, plan. the Kofi. I don't know if you saw that. I saw. Well, that's one of the things we'll talk about. Yes. So that is what's been going on. I also had lunch because I only had a bar for breakfast and I really needed some little uh, vegetarian chicken nuggets. Okay. Morgan and I had therapy. And then afterwards I was setting up our baby list, like registry thing that's not really a registry. The problem with Babylist, uh, which isn't a problem for most people, is that it shows folks their address. Um, so we can't have one for like the greater internet. Um, but I essentially made one and then marked everything as purchased and never put our address into it. And so now people can see like things that brands have given us and other stuff um, as kind of like a, these are all the things that we've got. So that took a while to set up. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Oh, we didn't film you doing the lights for this. Oh, we didn't. It was included. I did a lot of husband things. You we did. You did a lot today. The actually. past two days, and I haven't talked about any of them with you because I forgot. Today was our yard slash garage cleanup day, which is something we do as a big house chore thing every yes. couple months. Yeah. Mom and I were in charge of garage. You could film garage when you go down. I could, yeah. And then uh, Dad and I did. It's not really yard. It's like deck. It's like porch. Yeah. It's like porch deck. Um. So I did a lot of pressure washing. Yeah. And then. Yeah. And then dad was on the roof and I tried to convince him not to be on the roof and he was not having it. And I was like, I'm on the roof next time forever. He was like, well, I just really hate to be on the roof. So I'd feel really bad if you were on the roof because I hate to be on it. And I was like, no, I would like to be on the roof. And then I also was like, also my recovery time from falling would be much quicker than yours. Yeah. And he was like, well, if you fall off the front, there's not a lot of recovery time. <laughs> you would be dead. And I was like, so true. That doesn't change the fact no. about the back of it. But so anyway, did that. Now I'm headed to the store so that I can make soup because we got some friends coming over. Yeah, our friends are coming over for our soup. We and do that like every two weeks. So yeah. And everyone else eats soup. Yeah. And Morgan hates soup. I do. I wish I didn't. Yeah. Sorry. I'm glad everyone else loves soup night. Yeah. So I did that. I also edited and posted a lot of things recently. I haven't been working on YouTube quite as much, but I am most of the way done with the Goodnight Moon Pennant. I just have to do, I have to paint a little mouse on it and then sew the whole thing together. You've also been intermittently doing tax stuff which is also a husband chore i haven't been i did some when earlier maybe before you started the video. before i started the video oh. i inter intermittently once before starting this video was working on our taxes and it's so good and it's so good so that yeah i don't know that's what we i posted a video yesterday for an ad that we had and we don't have any ads coming up currently we got nothing on the books yeah. we do have money that's coming up oh thank god yes which will be great
And also we have a lot of YouTube videos that are partially filmed. Yes. We have a lot of editing to do in the next So much few editing days. to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, good morning. It is March 19th at 9.30 a.m. I just filled out an application for an EIN, which I should have done when we created our company situation. I am now doing taxes and it's going great. It's going great, it's going fine. What I have right now is a Google Doc that just has like a list, like lists of things, like expenses and like different kinds of expenses. And what I need to do is put them into a like Excel sheet or like a Google Doc or a Google sheet for our tax preparer so that they are like added together and like show like what they are. And that's fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm just dreading it. I also can't like send our stuff to our CPA tax preparer until we get our next big payment um, from a brand because I don't have the like $600 that it costs to file our taxes um, right now, which is fine. That's what our job's like. I've been dreading this and now I'm doing it and I'm trying to be brave. I also have to just add up, it's like our like main weird expenses, like things that we used for, um, things that we used in videos essentially. It's like a bunch of like small amounts that I have to add together. That's so it's a lot of math for a minute, but it's going good. Worked on the taxes stuff for a bit. Got all of it, not all of it. Got our expenses and our income organized in a Google Sheet as well as in a Google Doc that are like individually like labeled so you can see what each thing is. I was looking through our like tax organization thingy that our CPA our a s accountant sends us and it says it's supposed to be turned in by four days ago so my hope and my dream because i sent her an email and was like oh my god everything's been bananas so sorry and my hope and my dream is that she'll respond and be like oh well no problem girl you don't even worry about it my fear and my dread is that she'll be like you're shit out of luck and I'll have to either file our taxes myself or see if I can find somebody else as a CPA to do them. My half medium thought that would be reasonable that wouldn't be the end of the world would be if we have to file an extension, that would be fine. Yes. And then other than that, I have been editing YouTube videos. I was working on one and was like, oh, there's like not a lot of room on our computer. So I went through and deleted a lot of our downloads. And then some of those downloads were um, included the videos that I was working on a video for. So I have a whole like 18 minute video that was in Adobe Premiere. And I didn't think about the fact that Adobe Premiere is not saving that content. It's just like pulling it from where it lives in our computer. And so I down, I deleted all of that work that I'd done in the permanently deleted folder. There's a lot of space on my computer now. Now I'm gonna edit a video. I haven't cried yet today. Hey girl bosses, here's something that doesn't make any sense. Um, deciding to make a video talking about every single thing that you do and documenting that. When you are at your most busy, you have possibly ever been in like three or four years. <laughs> the last I recorded was mid-April. No, it's mid-April. No, it's early April. The last time I recorded was mid-March and now it is April 2nd. And hopefully this video will come out in like two days. To come back to some things at the beginning of the video, um, both the video game company weren't able to pay us, like weren't gonna pay us. And then the book about genitals also is not gonna pay us. Um, so we didn't do stuff for them. I, listen, there are so many parts of this job that are just being like, hey, did you wanna pay me? And people being like, no. And especially when people are like, hey, did you wanna do work for free? I am a big believer in being like, no, but did you wanna pay me? So I feel like it's all fair in, I don't know, late stage capitalism and asking questions. Yeah, I, since that period of time, in terms of like reaching out to brands and things, have messaged a bunch of brands on Instagram and been like, hey, can I get your contact for such and such so that I can reach out and see if we can work together and have gotten some contact emails of folks. Um, not heard back from anybody. It's a weird time to be a content creator for many reasons, um, but I think also just brands like are really taking advantage of the fact that there are like micro influencers who are willing to do a lot of labor and work for free um, that they should be being paid for. Um, but it's also kind of hard because like if it is worth it to you to get a free XYZ and do that labor, um, like it was for us, like we've done that, like with the our, our crib, like the nest egg crib, then it's like, I mean, that's worth it to you. So like, that's what you're going to do. So like nest egg's never going to pay anybody to do their stuff, you know, obviously. Why, why would they if people will do it for free, right? So yeah, it's kind of a weird, a weird little balance. Shout out to the cuties on patreon who are absolutely paying for our groceries right now we love and appreciate you so much don't ever feel like you need to stay like on our patreon there are 
enough there's so many people so like it's not it's there are new people joining patreon and people leaving patreon like it is always the most important to take care of yourself first so don't feel like i'm saying that just we are we are incredibly incredibly grateful so yeah that's been going on the kitchen work is taking place i did turn in our taxes <sighs> I did turn them in. Over 2022, we owed $8,000 federal and state. Um, and we're down to $1,000 left federal that we need to pay off there. And it is April of 2024. So we also couldn't do quarterly tax payments last year because we didn't have enough money to do that, which is part of why we're on OHP, if that is not like clear and evident. I feel like there's a lot of people, I don't know. Every once in a while we talk about being on government healthcare, on like Oregon health plan, um, which is essentially Obamacare or Medicaid. And people have a weird reaction sometimes. They're like, well, you guys have so much money. And it's like, I don't know, no. no not so i don't know you know it's it's a weird it's weird it's weird it's weird and we're self-employed and it's weird so i think this year if i had to guess i think we're gonna owe like twelve thousand dollars which is a really daunting number and i am stressed out about it and i'm kind of gotten past the point of being stressed out about it where it's just kind of like that's my life you know we don't have student loans which is great um we just uh are gonna owe the irs most years that we exist i think is what's gonna happen for the first maybe like five years of doing content creation this is our first year where we were completely full-time the whole year which i do think is super super relevant so we've not been doing this as like a job that we get compensated for for that long which is kind of bananas to think about but if you are also part of the nosy community i can give you our like comparison from like 2022 to 2023 so in 2022 and this is just like the gross money not there are things that can be like deducted from this and other stuff so we're not paying taxes on like all of this big number but this these are what these big numbers are in 2022 for ad work we made uh twenty thousand twenty two thousand eight hundred and nineteen dollars and in 2023 we made forty two thousand $260.93, which is killer because that's like double. On Twitch in 2022, we made 7,692. 2023, we made $9,348. For Patreon in 2022, we made $4,856. 2023, we made $12,371.71 which is amazing and incredible. On YouTube in 2022, we made $1,084. And then on YouTube in 2023, we made $2,456. And then I had art sales money that I made in 2023, which was not a thing in 2022. And total, including like my art show and then some like small punch needle drops we had. And then like our like t-shirt merch and other things that we do, we made $4,390.20. And so total for 2022, we made $36,451. And then total for 2023, we made $70,828.39. A couple of things are different this year. We got better at like knowing what things we can write off and what things we cannot. So yeah, we're not paying taxes on all of that, but I, I do I do think we're gonna owe like between like 10,000 and like $15,000 if I had to guess. We also won't get the um, child tax credit this year. Uh, sorry for the for 2023 but we'll get it for 2024 which is great and then there's like an uh, Oregon kickback thing that's happening another thing that's relevant is like I was stressed out because like that number like seventy thousand dollars like that's so many dollars like that's so many dollars like where did all that money go what happened because like we don't really have a savings account and like I still owe money to the IRS and I'm gonna owe more money to the IRS so I was like where's where's that going and part of it is that we pay part of the mortgage on this house which we essentially just pay it as rent to my parents which is hugely helpful we could not have this job if we had a less flexible like rent payment schedule so sometimes we pay my parents rent early very rarely and then uh typically what we do is on the first and on the 15th we pay 750 dollars. and it's it's sometimes that's late sometimes that's like two weeks late sometimes it's yeah and it's my parents are great and it is so helpful to us that we are in this beautiful home also it's like in a it's like a insanely low amount of money to be paying for the space that we have i think sometimes people think that we have like this one room and I think now that like people are seeing the nursery more, they're realizing that what we essentially have is like a two bedroom. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's interesting. It's strange. Oh, but so anyway, $18,000 of that is rent. Um, and then there's like food and just like living and like car payments and like i don't know you know what i mean there's a lot to just exist it's it's, exp it's really expensive to be alive right now and it's rough um but also that's like seventy thousand dollars for two people right um so even if we got to keep all of that money uh which we don't it would be so like divided by two would be thirty five thousand dollars each right um and then if we divide that by and then if we divide that by 
Hold on, I don't know how to do math. I think I figured it out and somebody tell me if my math is really wrong. Do $16.80 if we were working 40 hour weeks, which we are not. We are absolutely not doing that. There's no fucking way. So it's not a bananas amount of money to have and be making. I don't know. I don't know. This has been fun. Let me know if this is the kind of video that you're interested in and I can try to do it in a time where it is possible to make this kind of video. Uh, this month-ish really wasn't. And so that is why this is so sporadic. And I, here I have, these are my list. These are my list of things that I am working on right now. And this, this video is part of it. So I am only doing this so that I can cross it off if I'm being completely honest. Otherwise, I probably would have just left this into the ether and it would have been like 20-ish minutes of video that y'all never got to see, which does sometimes happen, but not super often. I love you. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're being gentle with yourself. I'm gonna try to take more breaks and listen to my body when it says I need to stop doing things and not take on too much. And we are gonna see how that goes because it. I don't know that it's gonna get significantly easier once uh, our baby is here. So that's something I need to practice now. Okay, have a good day.